Our story begins in a small town where Father Thomas, a beloved priest, is the principal of a school. In this quiet town, Father Thomas has devoted himself to running a humble institution and teaching students to his heart's content. The students belong to modest backgrounds and most of them love Father Thomas as their guardian and mentor. Among them was Prakash, a rebellious, proud and arrogant young boy who believed he didn't need anyone's help. Prakash is seen standing in the class in an arrogant manner as the teacher is scolding him. Where is your homework? I didn't do it. Show me your classwork. Let me see. What is this? You haven't even written a single line? Either do it right now, get out of the class. Prakash walks out of the class in an arrogant manner. Father Thomas has been standing outside the classroom and observing everything. He walks up to Prakash. Prakash, I know this. You are often distracted in class. You have great potential, but it takes humility to learn. <laughs> Father, I don't need anyone's help. I'm fine on my own. tries to walk past Father Thomas and stands in a haughty manner. Even the strongest amongst us need guidance, dear boy. I'm right here. If you ever need support, I can help you with studies or anything else. There's no shame in seeking help. Despite Prakash's dismissive attitude, Father Thomas offered him extra lessons and patiently spoke to him every day, showing him kindness. He encouraged him to take part in sports and requested the teachers to deal with him with empathy and compassion. Gradually, Prakash began to excel in sports and improve in academics, but remained arrogant as ever. He quietly left the town as soon as he finished school, without ever expressing gratitude. Years later, Father Thomas had grown older and the school remained small, serving the children from humble families. In order to seek board affiliation, there were certain infrastructural requirements which were difficult to afford by the school. Father Thomas was tensed. One day, a well-dressed gentleman arrived unexpectedly and requested to meet Father Thomas. The gentleman walks into the father's office. Father stands up to greet him. Good morning, sir. What brings you here? Sir? No, no. Father Thomas, you don't remember me, right? Come near me, son. My poor eyesight fails me these days. Give me your hand. Oh, Prakash, the light, the light. How could I forget you? It's been years. You didn't bid me goodbye. But I am so glad you have come back. Father, I realize now how much I owe to you and the school. Back then, I was arrogant and foolish. But you believed in me, even when I didn't deserve it. When everyone had given up on me, you, you stood by my side. Look, Father, how you have shaped my life. Today, I am an investment banker in the US. And I am what I am because you guided me in the most difficult phase of my life. <laughs> we all have our own journey, my son. I'm just grateful to the Lord to see you happy and shining brilliantly. Father, please let me complete my responsibility. This is for my brothers, the students who deserve the love of this institution and your limitless kindness. Please, Father, please accept this humble offering towards my alma mater. I want to be there for the infrastructural development and to provide scholarships for the students who are struggling, just like you were there for me. 
you are truly prakash my son you shared in the light of hope in the tense darkness of despair the school will flourish with the laughter of the students resonating in the corridors thank you lord for sending your angel to help us thank you for this light thank you for prakash no father you are the guardian angel for us all keep guiding us throughout prakash kneels father thomas blesses him <laughs>